So one of the things was, you know, you are also the founder of The Drip, a digital fashion boutique, right? So could you explain what is digital fashion and how does it work? Because I am sure a lot of our listeners know fashion, but digital fashion is relatively a lot, a new term for a lot of people. Right. So let me start with telling you um, what we do at The Drip, and then we'll talk about the the bigger picture. So The Drip is, it's a digital fashion marketplace. Each of our designers brings their own unlockable content to this. So amazing talent. Um, they put their designs for sale as NFTs on The Drip. Um, some things are also non-NFTs as well. We have a partnership with Ready Player Me. You can dress your, your avatar, but you can get your clothes for, for virtual try on. Sometimes it is digital fashion as artwork. You can unlock the original files as well, the FBX files, which you can use in some ways now, but you will be able to use a lot more in the future. A lot of digital fashion, it is it's sort of in in many ways it is an investment in the future when you're buying the the raw files but there are many ways you can use it now photo dressing has been the the original way you dress your photo with your new garment um so you can have one photo many outfits in there but this technology is evolving so fast we have companies like 010 um who do amazing virtual try on you can dress your avatar as we said before. Uh, so there's many ways that you can you can download it to either wear in real time or wear on a photo or wear on your your avatar. So what we're looking at with digital fashion is basically the tool that we talked about before. Everything has emerged from a design tool to enable efficiency. But when you put tools in the hands of creatives, they take it and they make something new. So we have this explosion of digital fashion. However, we still need to really look at the back end of this. What is the the value to the traditional and the physical fashion industry? It is about efficiency and effectiveness. It is about a lower impact on the environment. But we also now have the opportunity to take all that work that a designer has done for those reasons and create a, a digital twin. So you can also make the same clothing and sell the virtual version that people can wear in different ways. You can also make the virtual version have additional features. You know, for example, it's got bubbles coming out of it. It's got moving pictures on it. It's, you know, we've seen sneakers with with flames. So you can take the digital version and you can make it do things that it really cannot do in the physical world. So for a brand, you have the potential to really expand your use of, of a single design that you've made. You can also use it to try out an idea. If people buy your, your virtual version first, then maybe they realize, oh, this is actually something I really want in my physical wardrobe and they can buy it later. Also, all this technology that we're looking at with the virtual try-on is feeding back to the point of sale and really making that so much more efficient. So the virtual try-on that we see and we can enjoy and we can put videos on social media of ourselves, etc., that has a real value to the traditional industry as well. Because when we try things on with a virtual mirror, and we know how it's going to look on us. We're more inclined to actually buy it. It's not just going to sit in your, your shopping cart. It's actually going to lead to conversions. And it's reducing the number of returns as well. So the number, it probably shifts a lot, but the, if we, the returns are being reduced up to 60%. That's really significant. That has huge value to the bottom line. And to the to the planet as well. Those things are not ending up so fast in landfill. We're not wasting our our resources, and brands are more likely to actually receive more profit from any of their sales because they're dealing with a lot less returns. So there is significant value to the technology that's being developed for uh, digital fashion and wearables. 